So you may be asking yourself, how on earth did Linus Tech Tips get a hold of a Quadro M6000, a $5,000 video card? And the answer to that is that I'm not going to tell you. It's all top secret and shit. No, but what I will tell you is, but can it run crisis? Intel Skull Canyon Nook features a sixth generation Core i7 processor and Thunderbolt 3. You can learn more at the link in the video description. But before I answer the age old question, let's see if we can't figure out exactly what makes a $5,000 graphics card so freaking special tastic. I mean, it's got a GM200 Maxwell architecture GPU on it. So you can't see it, it's on the other side, but you go ahead and try, good for you. That's, uh, like your effort over there. It's got 3,072 CUDA cores, it's clocked at somewhere around one gigahertz, a little lower on the base, a little higher on the boost. It's got, ooh, look at this. Four DisplayPort outputs, so you can have four 4K displays running off it at the same time. Also, there's lonely old DVI up there. That can also run VGA if you're into that sort of thing, although I don't think too many people running $5,000 graphics cards can't afford a monitor that was made in the last 10 years. In terms of, okay, you got SLI and sync connectors, as well as a stereo connector if you work in stereo 3D content, so that's pretty cool. And this is really exciting, boom! The power connector is a single eight pin on the back of the card. Yeah, oh, over there, yes. On the back of the card, my friends, which I guess is important if you're mounting it in a rack mount case where there isn't always clearance for uh, power connectors that come out the side like is popular on desktop models. The more you know. But hold on a second, Linus. All of that sounds awfully similar to the Titan X a graphics card that costs $4,000 less. I mean, okay, there's an HDMI port instead of display port, and like, uh, it's got an extra power connector on a different spot, but this one has like LEDs and shit. What makes this better? Well, we missed one small detail. It has 24 gigs of GDDR5 memory, and not only that, but that memory is capable of running in ECC mode for like super, you know, less chance of something going bad. Let's put it on a bench. Angel singing? Nothing, all right, fine. So maybe we get like lots of amazing options inside NVIDIA control panel, deciding how to use our GPU. No, we can view system topology. We can set up mosaic, which is like surround. And we can, we have a dedicated tab for changing the ECC state. Hard to make this exciting. Let's run a game. I'm methodically getting very high right now. Whatever, I didn't change anything, screw off. Let's do the crisis benchmark. So the benchmark's over. Prepare to be amazed and awed. And I'm talking like, ah, oh, not like, ah. Oh. In Crisis 3, the Quadro M6000 scores 104 FPS. Is that even good? So we're back at it with the Titan X, and I have to confess, this feels like a very similar experience. Okay, moment of truth time. 105.5 FPS. Well, okay then. But come on, Linus, what were you expecting? Quadro cards aren't made for gaming. Well, truthfully, that's exactly what I was expecting because while it is true that Quadro cards are not designed for gaming, I mean, the gaming performance of them is right on the spec sheet. The GPU, the uh, clock speed it runs at, I don't know where this whole myth comes from that Quadro cards are meant for specific workloads and are not meant to game. And like, no, a GPU is a GPU. 
It just means that Quadro cards are also made for other things. So let's have a look at some rendering benchmarks or maybe some, you know, high-end video production benchmarks and see if we can better justify its high price tag. Okay, so this is a Octane demo, a little outside my comfort zone in terms of products that I, oh, uh, oh. control Z, okay, all good. Render target, there we go. So we're using, let's see, 1.6 gigs of memory, and we are processing at 7.2 to 7.3 million pixels per second. Are those pixels? I don't know what they are. Okay, well I'm not gonna sit here and watch this go for half an hour, so let's try something else before we put the Titan X back on. DaVinci Resolve. Let's watch some frickin' sharks. All right, we're getting about 12 frames per second with like denoising on and such. Again, presumably that is very good, but I don't know. That is very similar. That is faster so far. That is the same. But maybe DaVinci Resolve then. I wanna see big FPS. Oh, now come on. That doesn't even make sense. No, that can't be right. Wow, that shark just like ate a fish. Okay, so DaVinci Resolve with our 6K footage on a 4K timeline um, performed much better on the Titan X. But of course, you could afford much more than one Titan X for the price of an M6000. Let's see if the story changes with more Titan Xs. Eight pin to six pin to dual Molex. Okay, I have used adapters. Wait, what? Why is this not lighting up? Is it working? Is like the light just unplugged? Did someone screw up and not plug in the light on this? Wait, no, this doesn't make sense because this was my first one. How could that not be working? Whatever the indicator LEDs might seem to think, all three video cards are showing up and we are not running an SLI because A, I don't have a three-way SLI bridge handy and B, because that's really not the point of what we're doing. We are not looking at gaming performance. We are seeing how the Titan X compares to the Quadro in more Quadro-like applications. Three Titan Xs is much faster. Wow, that's scaling though. Look at that. It's estimating that it's only gonna take about 11 minutes to finish this scene. Of course, I still don't have 11 minutes because WAN show started 28 minutes ago. Let's fire up Resolve and see how that does. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, I think that would have worked. I think we had all three GPUs engaged, but we just triggered over current protection. I mean, the truth of the matter is that none of this really affects the conclusion anyway. Why does the Quadro M6000 cost $5,000? In the olden days, I would have told you that it's for its FP64 double precision compute performance because prior to the M series, that would have actually been true. It performed more like a Tesla in that regard. But these days, it actually performs just like a GeForce there too, with 1 32nd of the performance of what you can expect in FP32 computation. So if you were, say for example, doing financial analysis or some kind of uh, physical modeling, you wouldn't choose one of these either. No, my friends, the Quadro M6000, the reason that NVIDIA and PNY both refused to send one to me, even though I explained that I was going to explain all this, that they're not for general consumers, they're not for gaming, in fact, they're not even for this, the purpose of these is simple. If you need to render scenes that require more than the amount of memory that you'll find on a consumer-grade graphics card, you will need to buy one of these. So let's say, for example, you're... Pixar or you're working on the Angry Birds movie or whatever the case may be. If you are anyone else, then you would be better served by a bunch of these and like a lifetime supply of M&Ms and maybe throw in a power supply that doesn't trip the OCP when you try to actually engage all of them. So that's pretty much it then. Thanks for watching this episode of Holy Shit! 
online as tech tips. If you guys disliked this video, hit the dislike button. But if you liked it, hit that like button, get subscribed, maybe even consider checking out where to buy one of these or maybe a more sensible graphics card. We'll have a link in the video description. While you're down there, you can also check out our merch store where we have cool shirts like this one as well as our community forum where you can ask all of your technology related questions and get answers. Better answers than no, you can't game on a quadro. The true answer is yes, you can. No, you probably shouldn't because you just spent $5,000 for the gaming performance of it. And that's ignoring the 980 Ti, which performs exactly the same as the Titan X for a $1,000 graphics card. Thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.